Kitchen. We are working on some number 10 cans today. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe and notifications button. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. and we take junk and we turn it into home decor that we either sell or use. Seb, I think you forgot to put off Do Not Disturb. No, it's off. Sarah comes through, huh? Yeah, that chat for whatever reason. You know, if you, if you text me a lot, it comes through. The Paris chat. It's all of our friends that we to, went to France with. But anyway, <laughs> speaking of France, I wanted to make these into French style cans that we can use to house all of that wooden stuff that used to be Zeb's heads in the way, but there's a number two crock right there. But you can see it now houses a fiddle fig plant. And so I have a wooden spoon and a utensil situation. So the word, I wanted to use the word bakery. Well, let's see, how do these fit in here? All right, let's check for size first. I didn't get that far. I wanted to use the word um, bakery, and that's boulangerie in France. That's way too many letters. French. French. Sorry, I'm out of sorts this morning. Um, and so then I looked up the word bake, which I'm probably totally gonna hack it. But let's see how bake is. I texted Zeb this morning. Uh, Curie, Curie, I don't know, C-U-I-R-E is bake. And I was like, that's five letters, I can do that. So that's the word we're gonna put on all these. And so I think, I think they fit okay. I think These I might be a little tall. Forgot my spiel, um, yeah, but if you put those in front of it. Yeah, maybe. I forgot to say we go live 10 a.m. Mountain Time every Wednesday, did I say that? Yeah, you already did. Oh, okay, well there we go. That's what we're doing today. I'm gonna just drink water and let you talk. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing the letters in the IOD molds. Um, and then Jamie's gonna start salt washing. So we gotta mix up some salt wash. Do we have something oh. to mix the salt wash up yeah, there's in? A cup in the sink. Question is, where are the letter molds? I found them. So these are number 10 cans that you get like, if you don't know what food storage is, it's what we in Utah like to do in our spare time. Make sure we have storage for a rainy or snowy day like the nor'easter hitting up back east. And we keep things like potato pearls and pinto beans and things like this stored in here. Um, and we had some food that had expired. <laughs> we were we moving moved. and uh, we're like, oh, that, that, we haven't gone through this in a little while. Um, that expired back in 2012. <laughs> and then we had some stuff that expired back in like 2004. We're like, okay, what can we do with these and not just chuck them? Yeah, 2012 might be, um, you know, you know, it'd passable. probably be edible, but you Double wouldn't more. like it. It wouldn't be like gourmet <laughs> meal. Um, or nacho cheese comes in number 10 cans. We go through those regularly, but yeah. our nacho cheese can is full, so I couldn't empty that one. All right. You so... could also do the similar effect on like a soup can. It just wouldn't be large enough for utensils, and I really wanted something big enough for utensils. I'm going to pull up. Okay, air dry pockets. clay. We've got some cornstarch. I don't know where the shaker got off to that we had. It was super handy. I think it's back at the shop. I can hear you. Oops. Look, I can hear you. And then we're going to, how do you spell that again? C-U-I-R-E. I'm going to do the lowercase Harbor design and then the uppercase Victoria on one of the cans. And then I might, you know, Mix play it. around with the other one and see. Okay, I want mine to be the lowercase. So do two lowercase, one uppercase. It's okay. C-U-I-R-E. Do I need to write that down? No, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I can look up again if we need to. Um, and just in case anybody thinks I speak French, probably not by the way I pronounce stuff. I just use Google Translate when I want to look up stuff. If you want to know how it sounds, you just hit the little microphone button and it'll sell it to you and it's pretty good. Yeah, it's probably better than me. Um, to find the products that we're using today, you can hit up jamierayvintage.com. We have the mold, the paint, the salt wash, all the brushes, everything you need to complete this project on that website. Um, and just a heads up, in case you don't receive our emails, all of the retired IOD products um, are 25% off until they are sold out. And we have an entire retire IOD collection on the website. So you just click that and then um, the 25% off comes off at checkout. I know a lot of you guys have already um, cashed in on that sale. Um, and IOD has been doing this fun little marathon thing. If you go to their Facebook um, and Instagram and they've been showing you how to use some of the retired projects. Yeah, they've been doing, products. well not just use them, they've been doing some pretty, uh unique designs they've got some really fun stuff they were doing gold leafing yesterday oh my gosh those sisters they go above and beyond they're better at using it than i am so definitely check them out and then hop back over to our website <laughs> grab the products um and get a good deal okay so i've got those the reason we're using the cornstarch 
um, if you're new to the channel, is because it helps with mold release so that you can get your, your clay out easily. Oh, Kayla wants everybody to know the sale ends February 10th until 10 p.m., not until sold out. But if we happen to sell out before the sale ends, then also you can't get that item. So. Yeah, they're, they're retired. They're not making them anymore. So this is, you know, kind of last chance. There'll probably be some of them out there still, but they'll be hard can to you find. Open this? Well, what happens is certain retailers will hold on to them for like six months and then they're like, ooh, you can get these. And then they like double and triple the price. I don't do that because I don't have that kind of space. But if you want these and you want to pay regular or a reduced price, now is the time. To right buy. now they're on sale. Yeah, right now they're on sale. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. Number 10 cans are amazing. I've also actually taken these and put toilet bowl cleaner on them and you can make them rusty. So using the air dried clay, we've tried some other mediums and we do carry another type, but it's kind of foamy. This, this uh, dries nice and hard. It gives kind of like a nice aged effect. So if you let it dry slow, you're less likely to have any like cracking if you want to avoid that. But it'll almost sometimes on these smaller pieces get a little crackle almost like old plaster wood and we we like that around here that's what we want we Look, want the crackle just mixed in salt wash here to the diy paint and weathered wood um salt wash is an additive and the nice thing is you know it's a little extra expense to your paint but it's also volume which means you're using less paint so really it's a wash yeah the it's a salt wash the pr <laughs> the preferred ratio is one to one so yeah. you know you're getting double the paint if you use the salt wash with it i always like to mix away from my face or wear a mask because you don't want to be breathing it in even though it is all natural um, components here i didn't measure that out so i might have you might have too much wash <laughs> maybe yeah i need more paint i, I should have uh okay we need lots of this mix so we're good okay we got to see Oh, the here. question is, did you bring construction adhesive? Oh, I did not. Do we have any glue here? I'm sure I can hunt something up. It might just take me a second in the garage. The garage was bad before from just building the house, and we haven't had time to address it between moving and getting other things going. But uh, this last weekend, we moved everything that was left in the other house over, and so we've got, like, random piles of boxes and stuff all over the house that you know now that we're done moving we can actually address but my cute little pretty clean house is just basically mountains of junk some of it's really good junk yeah a lot of it's good stuff which <laughs> is why it's over here um if it wasn't good stuff we didn't that keep we were keeping we so jamie had like a, i'm keeping this at the house pile and this can go to the shop and get sold pile <laughs> yeah so this this week's thrift haul will have some interesting jamie paraphernalia <laughs> and 144 says oh no piles yeah, there's, they're there. Odelia says we have caulk. Caulk is not glue, Odelia. Yeah, no, um, I don't know if that'll work out. I do need to make sure that we get some construction adhesive for the house. All right, I finally mixed that up. I need to talk less, work more. Can you pass me? There's a pixie brush in that one. I'll use. You want to use this brush here? Yep. All of our paint pixie brushes are also yeah. marked down. I can't remember how much. Clearing them out. Caitlin can throw that on there. But anyways, we're... we're Lots of fun sales at the beginning of February going on here, guys. Hey. We're clear now. So I'm just stippling this on. Basically what I'm doing is hiding the fact that this is indeed a number 10 can by adding texture. You can do the same technique that we're doing on furniture. We like to keep it small, except for the last few weeks. So we have used number 10 cans in the past um, to do big molds on, but I think just these little letters are are gonna be fun. I'm, I'm hoping it looks like old, almost like rusty enamel at some point. Well, I also brought the uh, pennies from heaven, oh. copper patina, and the golden ticket gold patina, so we can really get some metallics going here. Let's see. Maybe throw on some white wax, like we did those cute ornaments. So when we get this more, uh, when we get this glued up, I'll give you guys a close up of these letters. They're pretty delicate, so I'm gonna leave them sit here till we get them glued on. Hey guys, we have new joggers at JRV Home. I don't know if you guys noticed, these have campers on them, and they go all the way up to 3X. There's also a bunch of new ones. Like I spent, Christy's like, you just ordered twice as many joggers as you normally do, and I'm like, we were at a, we had a jogger deficiency, okay? 
So definitely check these out. These are like $19.95 at jrvhome.com and they're free shipping. Okay. Oh, Caitlin says that the Paint Pixie is 25% off until sold out. That's where I got confused. Yeah, so. that one lasts until they're gone because we're changing gears on those. I'll probably just seal these with clear wax. I'm going to be honest. I'm not, gonna, I'm not a big scrubber of things. And if they get a little aged, whatever, with time, it's fine. But you could totally use, like, big top or whatever on them. I don't love super shiny finishes. So I don't. I usually just use wax. Thanks, Odelia. She says these joggers are cute. They're teenager approved. It's, it's always fun when we can find something Odelia will wear. Well, campers are just a great subject matter. A lot of people that love vintage things love campers. I have a hard time keeping them in stock. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate the micro rim here if I can. It's best if you do it down on a hard surface. But you see how I kind of just globbed that on there and now I'm just using my thumb. You can use like a spatula or a little wooden stick or something if you want, but I'm just using my finger here. And that micro rim allows you to just peel the excess off and get a nice clean mold. Jen says, you guys have so many tips and tricks. If you wrote a book, I would buy it. We actually have wrote a book, funny. It's mostly a history of like how we got started and like some of the nitty gritty stuff we've done. I need, you know, there's always no time to do stuff, it. right? Let's, it's like you could buy it on Amazon, but I, it would be fun to like throw pictures in with tips like intermittent between the stories. And we could totally throw in all the random tips that we got. All right, so I got that clean. Now I'm just gonna roll it out of here. Do you see how random I'm applying this? Close your eyes if you have to, but please don't pattern it. It's random crustiness and texture. And now I have a perfect little E. Okay, so I may have made more salt wash than was necessary. You made a lot. Oh, well, that happens. We'll have to do another project quick once this is off. So if you've been waiting to see, last week for Waste Not Wednesday, we did a, uh, a cabinet for our bathroom. And we still, it's sitting right over there in, among the piles. Um, we still have not installed that in the bathroom because we had to finish moving end of the month. We had to be out of there. Um, and my cousin is nice enough and my brother is the one moving in. I still have some tools in the garage that he's gonna be using so I didn't have to move all of those. Um, we grossly underestimated how much it would take to clean up a house we lived in for nine years with. But hopefully this week we will be able to get that in, do like a nice edited video on the bathroom because the tile in the uh, shower is all complete too. So we can finish the bathroom all the way off. Now the Red Solo Cup had salt wash mixed with weathered wood DIY paint. Both products, this is a salt wash. I only buy the big tub. It actually lasts quite a long time, but we sell it in big and small, and then we, the weathered wood paint we sell as well. All right, I have you letters here. I'm gonna go find something to stick them on with real quick. Frazier says the random salt wash is making her eye twitch. Frazier, you're the kind of person that has to close their eyes when you do it. If you do a pattern, it's just not gonna look natural. LBD is little black dress, in case, or, or Lady Bird, no, that's LBJ. I don't know. LBD is a little black dress for us. I don't know who else uses the acronym. Jennifer, the 50% the off sale for the clothes and every, the decor and everything at JRV Home, that is until it's gone too, because we have new inventory coming in, so we're just clearing out the old stuff. And if I sound like I'm yelling, guys, I have fluid, in, like water in my ear, cat hair, it's kind of weird. very disorienting so if I seem off my game that's it um, Laura if the video is blurry make sure to change your resolution either up or down usually up but sometimes people have had to go down uh, Donna may have just ordered these retro joggers I actually could have called that one Donna from Crescent Moon Cottage totally up your alley Tracy says does anyone else think weathered wood is the best dark color? It is super good. I also love old school, so I can't say that weathered wood is the best dark wood, dark color, but it's up there. Like weathered wood, little black dress, and uh, old school, probably my favorites of the darks. Oh, Jennifer's coming. 
north next week and is going to try some things on in the shop. Fun. Jennifer, um, they are not marked down in the shop just because the way things work, but if you find things you want, you can order it online for local pickup or just show the gals the pricing and they can, they can match it for you. Just the way our systems work. All right, I did find... Oh, careful. This is why... Did you just burn your hair? Yeah. Shh. You don't know because you don't have hair. Um, yeah. It's never been an issue I don't wear my hair down. People are like, oh, it looks so pretty down. I'm like, so not functional. What did you find in the garage? I found construction adhesive and a caulking gun. Hey, that is winning on all levels. Uh, Jennifer wants to know if we could do a tutorial on the frame we did for our TV. We actually we have, have one. one. It's an older video. Just type in Jamie Ray Vintage Framed TV and it totally pops up on YouTube. I am ready for a can if you've got one ready to go. Um, we have to put the second color over top of this. Okay, well then I'll make more letters, so, but I'm ready. So we like to use the construction adhesive. This is liquid nails, essentially same thing, Does sticks to a lot of stuff like construction adhesive does. Um, uh, but Ooh. we like to use it in a caulk gun because it makes it way easier to apply. And we buy these big tubes for like four or five dollars, eight max, if you're depending on the construction adhesive versus like getting a little tiny tube for about the same price. You know what, you could go ahead and put the letters and then we'll paint over the top of them. That's what I was thinking. I think yeah. it might make you're it more... Careful, it's hot. Careful what you touch. That's no, fine. I need... Why do I not have a Lazy Susan yet? I mean, I have one, but it's missing. I feel like we need a big one, though. Mm -hmm. Like, to spin, like, a whole chair around. Jessica says, our household just got quarantined. Thankfully, I have two JRB showing up tomorrow, Friday. Bummed about quarantine, but stoked about the craft box. If you gotta stay home, <laughs> at least you can be crafting. Oh no, that fell. Let's see if it's all in one piece. It survived. Caitlin says her lazy Susan is pretty big. Yours is big. We could, we just need to make one and carry it like a project lazy Susan. I just need to go shopping online, find one wholesale. The spout on this one is not cut as small as I cut the one at the shop. And this glue is wanting to really dub on here thick. Please do not get it on my counter though. I'm not. Uh, Rebecca, the 50% off is just random items that we had at the JRB Home website for a long time. So just check out the collection. Um, it's the JRB Home Collection. Um, it says 50% off New Year's sale or something like that. And everything in the collection will come off. 50% off when you check out, but only the items in that collection. So if you just go to the menu, you can just pop onto that one and you'll see it all there. Mish Muscle just ordered the JRV joggers. I actually think I saw that came through on Zeb's phone. His phone is not under the register. Oh, well here, I'll fix it. I could have sworn I put it on there. Well, we don't want to get a random call from my brother and my dad. They've been asking me lots of tire questions this morning. In case you guys don't know, Zeb worked for Tis Discount Tire for... 15 years? 15 years, yeah. When we started dating, that's where he was working at the time. And so he, off the top of his head, his brother calls him and he says, if I was going to get Cooper tires for this particular car, what would the size be? And the Zeb spouts it out and it's a, it's like a three number size, right? So what would those be? Uh, he wanted 255, 85, 16s. Okay. So did you see how he just spouted that out? Like three numbers, because all tires have three different numbers. Has to do with the size of the tires. And off the top of his head, even though he hasn't worked there for almost six years. Yeah, in April. In I April will, will be six years since I he quit and started working with me. Six years in April. That feels like we're coming. That, that's on the back end but of it's 10 like, years. It's like riding the bike. He will, he can spout off those tire sizes. So, I mean, weird human tricks. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> because they're still important to me. I still like tires. <laughs> yeah, Zeb's always trying to get me to get new tires and wheels on the expedition. I'm like... I think I might have won her over because we saw one the other day that had been had a little bit of a lift on it with some tires and wheels, and she's like, that does look good. <laughs> it's like design for cars, but I'm always like, that's not practical. It's just a car. But then we've also been talking about trading in and getting something different this year because it's... It's his turn to get a vehicle for tax purposes, but the vehicle he wants is like the new hybrid. And I'm like, you really need to let that 
stew a year before you get something new? You know what? I really like these last two Fords we got. I trust them that they've uh, done enough quality control on it. Well, you just want the new car. I was in the car the other day, and I turned on the air conditioning, and it starts making this weird noise. And I was like, maybe I don't want another Ford. I mean, this one's pretty new. Why is it making this noise? And it turns off, it turns back on, it's intermittent. I finally get to the house. It was my mother's Swiffer back from moving it. And it was like the... <laughs> It was, and I'm like, the, it was in the back? It was in the back of the expedition because we've been moving from the old house and I'm getting super annoyed because I'm like turning off the AC and the noise is still happening and I'm like, what is actually going on? And then by the time, it's about a 10 minute drive between the two houses, depending on traffic. By the time I get here, I'm super annoyed and then it hits me. I bet that's my mom's flipper back. Sure enough, wasn't the expedition. <laughs> It's just the little things in life, like the noises that you can't figure out. Like, I'm already annoyed because there's like a button that broke that is on back order and has been for a couple months. And there's like eight ways to shut the back hatch, but the button on the inside isn't currently functioning. And so every time I have to like use my keys or go to the front of the car, I'm super annoyed by it just because I'm like, this car is pretty new. It shouldn't be broken. So I was like, now, now we've got that. And there's this weird thing when you turn the left blinker on, it like intermittently will go super fast like the, uh, what are those called, shocks or spark spark plugs are going out, only it's not and we no can't spark figure plugs out why. Are going out. And so those the, things the combine. Bulbs? Just, what? The bulb? The bulb, whatever, but I, <laughs> it's not bad. And I can never recreate it when it's at the dealership. And so I'm like, those things combine. I'm like, if there's this strange noise happening, that's it, I'm just going back. All right, I think that one's done. I haven't had a single thing on my truck. Um, you have a weird thing where it doesn't undo the keys, like the, the door. Oh, with the door lock when you grab the handle? Yeah, it seems like a minor issue that I'm not going <laughs> to complain about. My very first car was, a, like 50, a, was a $50 1980 Subaru hatchback that it had 250,000 miles on it and I drove it for 30,000 miles and sold it for more than I bought it for. Well, you fixed it. It had a hole in the floorboard. Uh, yeah, it did. Do you remember the Chevy Love when we were first married? When I first got that car, I had, if it rained, I had to put a board on the floorboard because the water would spit up and get me all dirty going to school. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> when we were first married, um, I had a decent car because my parents had bought me this, do you remember Daewoo's? Yeah. They came out in about 2000, which is when I graduated. I had a blue day woo with a spoiler. It was pretty cute. Piece of junk. Talk about stuff breaking. But anyways, but Zeb drove a 1980 I, By then Chevy I had graduated Love. to the Chevy Love. It was an 81. But we couldn't afford, <laughs> we couldn't afford a window. <laughs> and so our solution was a discount tire, because that's where he worked, those big tire bags. And so his window was a tire bag until we sold it, I believe. Yeah, it was the passenger window, we so, sold you know. It, with the tire bag window. Oh. it was the passenger window, so I could still go through the drive through and get food. Mm. Oh my gosh. But anyways, yeah, so we've, we've had our, I feel like we've done our time. So it's okay that we have cars that, you know, have things like automatic situations. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't even get roll-up windows anymore. Like everything's automatic now in the newer, like from like 2015, like you got to really hunt for some roll-up windows. It's like a bare bones. Oh, I like the uppercase. Yeah, the uppercase is good. It's good. It's All my right, favorite, but I, it's my favorite, but I also write in all caps, but somehow yeah. I got this crooked on here and it's, it's sticking it's really, fine. really well. Um, so Hope had a good idea and actually Hope, I thought of that the next time it happens to record it, but I have to have somebody in the car with I me. I recorded because... the blinker, so. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I, obviously when I'm driving, I'm not going to bust my phone out and be like, how did you get in that accident, ma'am? Well. I did. <laughs> I, I. Don't be saying that. I, I was at a stop. It. I was at a stoplight <laughs> turning left and it was like. <laughs> so I, I recorded it's it. It's annoying, right? Sometimes I just don't turn the left-hand blinker on because I'm like, give me a ticket. I just can't handle this. I'm in the left-hand turn lane. They know where I'm going. All right. There we go. So they're on there. We got the salt wash. We're going to paint it all and make it look uniform. Can you adjust the camera to eye level? This is my eyes at this level. So if we adjust it to eye level, it makes it really hard to see what's on the actual table that we're working on and to see our face like you also, get like our neck down our eye level is very different yes or maybe she means like just the table but then all you see is like this now we like to hold it up close so you can see the close-up so you got to deal with story time for a minute while i'm doing the project and then i'll show you so this says i should have 
looked up the way you pronounce it. Curie, it means bake in uh, French. So there you go. A very French country. Okay. I really need to take, maybe I should just take, take uh, do you know that, what's the thing, Rosetta Stone, where you learn how to speak a language? Yeah. Or that, that kid's one with the big fluffy characters, like, and then they like teach you French. <laughs> I feel you like sound, it, you sound like uh, Joey from Friends when he's I, trying to audition for that French part and he doesn't speak a bit of French. I was thinking I sounded like uh, what's her bucket, the one that bakes. Oh, Julia Childs. <laughs> Today we have butter, but she's actually not French. She just cooked French stuff in France, so maybe that's why I sound like her because she's American and trying to sound French. All right, moving on. I have ADD hardcore, so I've got some beadboard here. I'm going to paint over the letters, I'm going to paint over the can, and it's going to get very, very boring. I can never find the R, it's like tucked over here in the corner. I'm going to stipple it on to add more texture, also because I don't want to brush and then wipe the letters off that are not cured. Okay, so we're doing lowercase on this. I'm worried that the lowercase is going to be a little too small for these cans. Michelle says cook, cure. Well, I swear, cook, bake, whatever. I swear I looked up the word bake. And this came up, so whatever. Google Translate. Maybe maybe it's both. Languages are weird. Well, Some we got, things that are different in our language are. We need you guys language. to keep us straight on this because we need. I took French for a year in high school. Yeah. But it was because I wanted to sit next to a certain girl that had the same class, <laughs> and I didn't learn any French. Like I got, that I got a C. It's that. like one of my only C's that I ever got. I think I had one more in grade school, but. Zeb got really good grades. He also went to a school that didn't have an honors program while he was there until after he left. So. So I got it was good grades. That's I got cool. pretty good grades by. Uh, Did you fall? No, I, I I read whatever I wanted in class, and then I did everything at home in like ten minutes, fifteen minutes. <laughs> uh, it was really annoying. In high school, I graduated with like a solid three point five, but I worked like I did twice as much homework as Ed. But admittedly, I took some honors classes, and my school was a little bit more challenging. Okay, so that I had a break. Oh, it's bake my... and cook. There we go. Oh, bake and cook. It's a dual purpose French word. Yeah, they have those. Well, well it's, it's like English. We have them too. Like lots of them. The stuff that I'm doing, you know, what I'm putting here will be used for both baking and cooking. So that is handy. Yeah. I think what happened is this little piece of paper clay, I left it sitting out while I glued those other ones on and it's getting a little dry. <laughs> so if that happens, put a baby wipe in there to refresh it. Well, it's or just a, a little paper towel. It's just a little piece. Oh, if, well, if you ever forget, because you need to put your stuff up, and if you ever get to do that, is this going to make some of these eye twitch even more? That it's like still totally random. Sorry, sorry for the eye twitches. It's gonna. We got a C out. Good job. Oh, you're still on the second can. Okay, I'm gonna. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you this. Okay. And I'm gonna well, because I glued this. those on, so I'm that you have something this, to paint. I'm going to drink this because this is water. Luckily, it's not paint. <laughs> we always get those fun messages. Uh, people <laughs> dip, in their, dip in their dip in their paintbrush to like get more paint on it in their coffee. Or their 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 paint water that they're cleaning their brush with. They drink it because they think it's coffee. Like very important that it's separated on your workstation. Cordelia said she wants to drive an old Ford truck. It sounds great until you gotta park that beast. And so what you I'm, everything I'm looking for like a, a old Bronco for her yeah, that we luck. can fix up. But they're hard to great. find. They're they're like classic vehicles now, and they're very uh, sought after. Desirable. I also was looking for like a Blazer, same type of vehicle. Um, couldn't find any of those either. So because there's no dark underneath this white, we're definitely going to have to do some sort of patina and possibly dark waxing to bring out those letters on our can situation here. But it is turning into something kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can see the coolness factor, but it's getting cool. And if you don't like crusty, you could just do solid pink colors that are totally uniformed and patterned. Whatever. So you got to be careful with the eye. 
the dot is completely separate from the rest of the mold. Uh, apparently there's a Tiffany Blue Bronco. We could buy a new one, but not for Odelia. Yeah, they have they have new ones, but uh, we we did that with our son. You know, he had like a he had, we had a, just paid off a 2015 Durango no, that two, we bought. It was, it was 2015. No, 2017. No, it was a 15. Um, that we had purchased and we had just paid it off and he was driving it and, and he'd only been driving it a month and he let his friend that didn't have a license drive on his friend's 16th birthday and his friend wrecked the Durango and I so sold it the next the day. Well, yeah. And then we and, showed him, we bought him a really nice And then after Jetta. that, he, uh, he had to drive a lesser vehicle because I was done. Nice. You know what? I bought my own, my own and vehicles, and the fact that we were giving him vehicles to drive, that kid's spoiled. But now he has his own vehicle. I'm a terrible parent. I'm a terrible parent. I should have made him, you know what? I, I, know, I noticed that the other day. I told him, I'm like, you know what? Now that you bought your own car and you're paying your own insurance, you haven't had a single ticket or an accident. What's going on? He's like, I'm a better driver now. I'm like, no, I just think you're more cautious. It's a Travis Sham mockery. Travis so we're not doing that with Odelia. And a mockery the way he treated those she, she, she can She can drive the golf cart for all I care. It's not legal in our city. I'm working with the city council right now trying to get illegal and the police department. We found out it was illegal. We were breaking the law, so we're trying to be law-abiding citizens. But the real reason why we, uh, we provided him with a vehicle is because at the time we were ridiculously busy and had he and he was doing two sports and we wanted him to be able to do those sports instead of have a job so that he could have a car when he totaled the jetta he was picking up milk cake. yeah when he totaled the jetta while he was running a work Sorry. errand for us and he turned he, he totaled it new year's eve making a left in a busy intersection and he got hit we should have known that the following year of 2020 was going to be a humdinger after that happened yeah, he was picking up my milk paint order in West Jordan. Okay, so I'm going to distress this a little bit. Take down some of those peaks. Sorry, guys, if you can't see what I'm doing. So, so whatever we get for Odelia to drive, it will be reliable because I don't put teenagers in cars that don't run good. And good tires. I yeah. have said that when people go to discount tire, they'd be like, well, I don't want to buy expensive tires because just my wife and my kids driving around town. So isn't, I'm like, he's like, that's your wife and kids so you don't want nice tires? Like, what is your... I mean, I get if that's what you can afford, it's better than nothing. But that's not a good... Ex but don't give good... me the excuse that it's your wife's minivan and you don't want to buy nice tires for her because it doesn't matter. Zeph has always made sure that <laughs> I've Give me an eye tires, twitch every time. No and... matter how poor we were. If we can't put you have good tires, he's like, don't drive. Hey, they're important. They're what's between you and the road. That's right. As how <coughs> we have so many people getting accidents here in the snow because they don't have good tires. All right, so this is where we're at now. We're getting there. Can I have the copper patina? Yes. Do you know where it's, oh, there it is. And there's a brush over there. Which brush do you want? I've got a fistful of them. I got a little one if you want like a stencil brush. Don't make me. decisions for Odelia based on Harrington's driving. Well, what we told her is if you're good for a year and you don't get any tickets or good any accidents, We'll sell the, the not great car that you learn to drive on and get you something nicer. I felt like that was a great incentive. Can I have that knife? If we can afford it. Like, you never know where you're going to be at. My kids are really good. There's times that we've had money, times that we didn't have money, and they just are happy to have whatever, which is good. I don't like kids to feel entitled. <gasps> can you... Sally, I'm, I'm making to... a can for all my stuff right there. I'm trying to glue over here. I'm sorry. Wow, this is on here well, good. Well, it's because it's patina. I had to crumple the bottom of the can. The patina does stick on. If you guys get this and you can't, like we don't clean the top of our lid. See clean that? Your lid. Clean your lid and it'll help with that before you put it on there. But run it under hot water for like a minute or two and it'll come right off. This is the same copper patina that we started with when this came out. We've used it quite a bit. It just goes a long way. Yeah. All right, now we're adding copper to our situation. They're probably like, what is she doing? Don't worry. Don't worry about Gotta it. Gotta make those letters come out. I actually don't know what I'm doing. But... You're just, but sometimes on Waste Not Wednesdays, you guys get to see us experiment and we don't know what the end result's gonna Not be. Not like I practiced this off camera, guys. Oh, my dad's yelling at my mom. 
Odelia, would you see what Grandpa wants? In case you guys didn't know, uh, my parents are 81 and 87 and they live with us. They're hard of hearing, just like me currently. My ear has she has got some water. She took a bath and she got some water in her ear and now she can't hear out of that ear and it, it hasn't drained. It's making me very sympathetic to the plight that my parents have to deal with. She's like, can I lay on your side of the bed while we watch TV tonight? I can't hear. Because when I lay, like, my good ear has to be up. I know. The struggle is real. This actually just looks like a mess. I sleep, <coughs> I sleep good on whatever side of the bed I'm on. You sleep good whenever you actually fall asleep. You, you're dead to the world. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna just remind them to be quiet, Odelia. No fighting while, no fighting while we're live. It's about to get really real over here. Ooh, reality TV at its finest. Uh oh, you can't script this stuff. Caitlin says her ears finally popped yesterday. I did buy an irrigation kit. Uh, we tried candling my ear. That didn't work. Mostly just freaked Zeb out. So. You know, there's something about putting today. something in your ear that's on fire. Like, I'm like, how, this seems like witch doctor type stuff. Like, what are we doing? I took a picture. I'm like, let's get some ritual stones out. We got to get a circle going. I She's like laying on the worked. bed with like this flaming stick poking out her ear. I'm standing there just like making sure the house doesn't burn down. I'm like, this does not we end. We just built this house. I'm like, this does not end well. Like, never again. It never again. Fine. A big whatever but i know i need to go to the doctor but here's the thing i'm kind of busy and I, I don't it's like my last resort so i bought an irrigation kit we're gonna try that because that's what they normally do zeb's really good at watching videos on youtube i am he's basically an md <laughs> so we're gonna try that if that doesn't work i'll go to the urgent care i don't actually have a family doctor because i don't actually ever go to the doctor q u i r e right let me double check. I gotta yes. dot my eye. So the eye, like I was saying before, it kind of looks like a small one, and then you put the eye on up above, and it's just this little tiny little dot. <laughs> Jane says no candle, no candle in her ear. Here's the thing. Zeb's also really weird about anything with his ears or his eyes. Like when I was getting LASIK, Stuff doesn't he go just in there. about died when they were like doing LASIK. I was like- Well, she's like, film it. Cause it's like in a big open window and it's just like long bank of machines and stuff. And you can just watch the whole process going on. They got a big TV to blow up what the doctor sees so that whoever's outside the window can also see. And she's like, film it, it'll be cool. I'm over there, I'm like, no, oh, <laughs> they're cutting the eye, no. <laughs> it's fine, I can see now, 2015. I was almost blind, literally, before, so. I actually do love it. It has been good. We don't the, have the, any the shipwrecked patina, do we? Don't um, I don't think you brought any of the shipwreck with you. So, fun fact, you can get the patina to bubble using the heat gun. The patina is bubbling? Well, Which yeah, because it's, like it's like a top coat. Yeah, so it's kind of like a built-in plastic situation so i love that that's really good i'm going to show you guys this up close okay you got some texture on that that's for sure texture we're really upgrading this number 10 can here look you guys look how cool that is all right maybe you don't like it how is my close-up site hold on as long as i hold it here like if i'm like this close just like right here is good i'm also approaching middle age guys so that does. Speeding up on you. Yeah. So the lowercase letters look really good too. I thought that they would be too small on here, but I put them a little higher. I like the lowercase. And they're looking great. It's my favorite. All right, I'm just pulling through some of the, oops. And the uh, the lines on the can really help you line it up good, like the, the ribs on there. Plus bonus. Okay. That's a I'm just taking down I think some we got a hair in here. I just pulled it out. It looked melty. Did it look brown? No. Or it was, was it one of your it was uh, salt nose washed. Hairs, the blonde one? No, no blonde nose hair. It's not it was a long hair. hair. It's a long hair. Probably mine. All right, this needs to 
What do we need to do to that? No, that needs to cool down before I decide to white wax it. Okay, I've got another can ready oh, for you. I do love that. The little, the lowercase. Do you want, all right, we have one more can left. Do you want uppercase or lowercase? Um, I say lowercase. Another lowercase? Those are harder because to glue. Because then we'll have one <laughs> of They're so each. small. <laughs> then we'll have one of each to sell because I think I'm going to keep the lowercase. I'm going to be really, I almost put that in my water. Okay. I'm going to be really annoyed if I prefer the uppercase because I won't take it because I only have one. So if you're new here, we have a website called jrbhome.com, and that's where we sell all the things we make and buy and thrift. Um, and then we also have a little store called Jamie Ray Vintage on Main Street. And so we, a lot of times we make stuff that we just resell, and a lot of people that watch our channel either make the decor themselves or buy it on our website, or they copy our design, which is fine too, and they sell it in their antique stores or you know booths that they rent out of. So it's kind of a fun little It's thing. way more fun to make your own stuff. I'll just say that. Yeah, it's fun. Fun to create. But we don't care because we either make money because you watch the video, or we make money because we buy, you buy our stuff, or you make money because you buy our products, whatever. So it's a great way to have a job and all the things in the world. Being a maker is pretty fun. It's not yep. all copy, about, copy away, we're okay with it. Yeah, it's not all about making money, but we do have to feed. In fact, I really love to see people who have taken our ideas They're and even done better. even a, like a better spin on it. They're like, that's neat, but it could be better if I did this. And then they put it in the group. They post it in the group and the Jamie Ray Vintage group. And I'm like, yep, that's better. Yep, that's a better <laughs> thing. Well, you know, we're doing it live for the first time, right? Like we haven't practiced it. So then they take what we do and they just build on that. All right. Here's the lowercase one. It's so cute. Okay. I'm getting faster at these letters. They're oh, Linda says take a cotton ball, dip it in alcohol, then place the ball in your ear, wait till it dries, then take out the out of how long does that take to dry? Because I can't commit to laying down. Oh yeah, because alcohol does dry. <laughs> it it absorbs moisture. <laughs> oh like how long is this gonna take? It like makes well I don't know, it doesn't absorb, it makes it evaporate. Linda says she has that problem a lot. I generally don't, but I was taking a bath and I didn't feel like turning on. We have like the sprayer. This is when it happens. It happens when she swims in the ocean and when she takes baths that are too long and puts her head underwater. I love having my head under the water, but it's not a good idea. I should have plugs. But anyways, I don't like to use the sprayer because I'm lazy, so then I just dip my head in the water. And anyways, five to 10 minutes, I can commit to that. Uh, Jana says she learned volumes from us. Awesome. I didn't know I knew volumes, but I talk volumes. So we're always dropping like, we, we do a lot of experimenting around here. So we know what works a lot of times and what doesn't work. So we're always dropping little tips and I don't even really think about it much cause we, you know, it's just like something we do. But then we'll get like people messaging us and be like, hey, I watched this video and I never even thought to try that out. I'm like, well, we didn't think to either till we broke it and then we had to fix it. <laughs> Necessity is the mother of inventions. We like to call them knowledge nuggets. You know, nuggets of information. Kathy says, read my text at 9.43. All right, we'll go back. But not right now. Yeah, on these little ones, if I wasn't doing the, uh, the cornstarch, they would be really difficult to get out of these molds, just so you know. The more detailed something is, the more you really need to cornstarch it because when you pop it out, the less you have to fiddle with it to get it out, the better impression you're gonna make. If you want it to be perfect, you can also just use resin. And you can get resin to curve, you just have to use it when it's warm or microwave it for like 15 seconds warm up the resin and you can get it to cook. So we don't use, the, I actually really love the resin because um, it's super clean, crisp, it's pretty easy, but it does take a little bit of cure time in the live video, so we usually do the air dry clay when we're live like this. Well, an air dry clay, spray, clay cracks. Yeah. And that's awesome. Um, we would have to plan ahead to do that. Okay. 
Yeah, you'd have to actually have stuff. your life together to do a video <laughs> with the resin. All right, let's let's get this going with some golden or some copper. I think I'm gonna do less copper on this one. See what happens. It's steaming, guys. Steamy situation here. I think I'm gonna put this where right where you don't have salt wash, and see okay. what it looks like. Okay. Probably might be easier on a less chunky surface. The one thing I don't like to do with the copper is to leave it streaky. Like I don't want to see brush strokes because I want it to look like it's actually copper. So if I start to have brush strokes, I will fix that. But you can dry brush it and just hit the tops of that and that's okay. That I feel like looks all right. Just don't want it to be too strokey. Our little rooster, I don't know if you guys can hear him in the background. He's letting us know that it's stopped snowing. <laughs> he's crowing, he talks to us he's a lot. crowing about it. He's a funny guy, that rooster. Uh, Donna says he, she hears Mr. Rooster. Mr. Rooster, we should name him. Let's name I, him Fred. <clears throat> I keep waiting for the kids to name him. They haven't. Like they tried to name the chickens when we first got them, but they all they, they all look, look the same they fluffiness. Less. Lily is still there, but uh, maybe maybe less is the rooster actually. <laughs> I can't remember because <laughs> they named the biggest one less, and I think we kept them, or at least I told them we did because they'd be real mad if we got rid of less. <laughs> Jen says I don't get to hang out live too often, but I love being with Jamie and Zeb and all you great folks. Thanks. Uh, Caitlin wants to know what kind of chickens. So they are silky, splash silky bantams, and we did custom order them, special order them, sorry. Cackle not Hatchery. Custom, from Cackle Hatchery. We're not paid to say that, but that's where they came from. We ordered 15 and they sent 20, so buyer beware. Yeah. And they're really hardy because out of uh, 20, only two died. I thought I'd order 15, five would die because that's just what happened, and then we'd have 10. So anyways, we wound up getting rid of all of the roosters, keeping one, and now we have how many? We have nine birds out there now. Nine birds. I thought we had ten. Nope. I oh, we that's only right. had, we had eight hens. I kept all the hens and one rooster. The problem is the hens were real tired because when they were equal parts. Oh man, to... we had. I got rid of uh, nine. Yeah, nine roosters. I had to get rid of them. They, they were killing the hens. The hens were real tired. I'm not going to go into details because it's a PG show. But if you're a grown woman, you know what I'm talking about. Poor hens. Anyways, I'm using white wax on this in case you're wondering kind of age it, but I'm not hitting um, everywhere. And then I'm gonna wipe it back a little. Yeah, Teganique shipwreck wax would look good. I don't have any here, but I might come back and use some later. I don't know. Sometimes I just like to keep it simple. We'll see, I'm just using a paper towel. Someday I'll get lint free rags and have them handy, but. So our construction adhesive at the shop, I have the nozzle cut super tiny. This one was just one I was using here at the house for other stuff. But if you get your construction adhesive, if you go this route to use it, if you're gonna be doing lots of molds and stuff, just cut a tiny little hole in your spout there and it makes it so much easier to really put it accurately on these molds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna do something that you shouldn't do technically but I do a lot because you're supposed to roll wax is always last but I'm going to dry brush some of the copper patina over the top to add some more shine because the white wax kind of doles it out there's one that's just on this this can's got a kind of like a goldish brass look to it yeah I really want white over the letters because <clears throat> otherwise they're not going to pop I was inspired because I saw a bucket like this that had like a handle on it and it had like a, a is that called marmalade situation on it and I thought it was so cute and I was like, how can I recreate that? Okay. Are you ready for me to give them another close up? This one, not yet. Oh, you're bringing that copper back out? Yeah. Okay. You can also come back with dark what color are you wanting to go on this just white as well 
purple. I'm gonna go white on all yeah, of these. Yeah, you can. This is like a really great base color to put underneath because the patinas are kind of uh, uh, trans <clears throat> translucent. Is that the word? I get them confused. I don't know. It's see through. Right. Let's dry brush over the top of this so that we have some shiny showing. So shiny! I have to say that every time I say shiny, I don't know why. <clears throat> you don't even like that movie. All right, look at that. That's cute. Okay, now for the test. Oh, you know what? I'm also probably going to have to paint the inside. Did you put this, this on intermittently? It. Or did you do full coverage? Uh, depends on the one I did. I don't know. I'm just going. I'm going to paint the inside of the skin, and I will probably put a, a liquid patina inside. Well, I guess once you can't see the inside. All right, but very close. I will. <laughs> can you guys even see what she's doing back then? Ta da! <clears throat> I'm excited because now that we're done moving, <coughs> sorry guys, I got like a frog in my throat. Uh, now that we're done moving, um, I can uh, actually get to some of these projects I've been like needing Ooh, to button good. up since we moved in. Sorry, while I admire my work. I feel like you still haven't brought it close, though. I did. Not for very long, like three seconds. Like, you gotta hold it, you gotta spin it. Get your, get your Vanna White on. I'll do it. I'll do it in a minute. Right. Just set it right there. Here is my it. number 10 cam turned high end top copper container. Ta da! All right. We'll set it. Then they won't be able to see us. Do you guys wanna look at this while we finish these? There! Boom. It does hold, you know, with the spoons and everything, the size looks right. Yeah. I feel like if it was just rolling pins, it would be disproportionate, but... All right. So what do you think about using Golden Ticket on that one? I can try. I mean, we all know I love copper, but not everything has to be copper. Did I... I need this. This one is going to be mine. I'm going to need more copper on it, though. So this is the lowercase one. I really like this can because I'm not gonna. We're not gonna paint the insides because, you know, you're gonna be putting stuff in there. Well, I might paint the inside, but actually, I said I was going to. But yeah, now that it's full, not some, it's not necessary. You could totally also poke holes in the bottom of this and make it a planter. Well, and this one's got that, uh-oh, we lost the dot on the eye. I'll have to re-glue that in a minute. Um, and we've also taken these, cut them in half, bent the um, metal out, like creased it and bent it, and put it on old barn wood and made wall hangings that you could use as planters. We did that. That's when I really started getting into number 10 cams. We had to, have a, we had to do a market. We had this much money. And so I went to the garage and I'm like, what can I make to sell for big dollars out of what I already have? And I was like, so I went on the neighborhood page because lots of people have food storage. And I was like, number 10 cans, please. And of course, Denise, who's like the queen of storage, she had a bunch of food she wanted to take out of the cans and put in something else. And so she's like, I'll bring some over. And she gave us like 20 cans and we saved all of our soup cans. So the soup cans, we did the same thing, but we cut them in half and we did like three in a row made the most amazing wall decor. They held flowers really good. Yeah. All right, gotta redot this eye. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. This is because it's great to recycle stuff, right? To send it in for recycling, but even better if you can just transform it and not have to send it to a plant where they have emissions, right? So it's like the original green. Do you want... I'm going to grab the heat gun. Oh, you got the heat gun? Yep. Here, I'll open this Fun for you. Fun fact, on our island, both sides are on, right, a separate breaker? No, they're on the same they're breaker. They're on the same but, breaker. But two circuits are on one 20-amp breaker. Yeah, it's a high-amp breaker, so we can run two heat guns at the same time. You have some white lip liner. Oh, cool. Yeah, you can you can run, like, 400 square feet off of uh, in your house off of a 20-amp breaker. But at least that's just to the eye. at least that's what the inspector told me and you know i was reading code when i was building this house and at the bottom of each page of the code 
book, it says, up to the interpretation of the inspector. Well, that's good. So I'm like, so really, this is just kind of like a loose guideline, and then the inspector comes, and depending on your city, they may or may not have more stringent rules. <laughs> Uh, I need the heat gun when you're done. Oh, I thought that you were getting the other heat gun. We really Where's the other one at? I we no might idea. have sent it back to the shop. Yeah, I think okay, we could take it back. Okay, just a second. This one is almost... You're good. I'm going to go show them a good close-up of this. And My close-up was not sufficient. Spinning. It is really cool. You can see some of that salt wash coming through. See, is this the spoon I made? It is this. Oh, no, that's not the one I made. That's the one you got from Kelly. I don't know what I got in there. It's similar size to that. I got all kinds of things. I got rolling. That's a rolling pin you made. Yeah, I made this rolling pin out of leftover. Um, it's out of leftover curtain hanger. These rock. ones are cutesy, but this is the rolling pin that does work. Yeah. That's the one I use for everything. Okay. I will hand you this gun. Okay. We do need to get a second one so we can both be going. Just a gentle suggestion. Tracy, what was your gentle suggestion? Well, I missed it. <laughs> It's okay. You don't have to be gentle. You can say how it is. We're not shy. And we don't get offended easily. <laughs> Joanne says, why? A lot of hard work for a hot mess. Not my faith, but carry on. Hey, here's the thing, Joanne. If you don't like this, you take a number 10 can, you put the letters on it, and then you paint it really, really neat. You don't use the salt wash. And you get something very boring, but also not a hot mess. And <laughs> maybe use some white wax. Like, if you just use just paint, like, take this technique, use apothecary or weathered wood, right? No salt wash, and then white wax. You would get a fun look that's a little, you know, less awesome. But maybe less, like, eye twitchy for you. Because not everybody loves crusty. My favorite thing it. in the world. That's like what we go look for. Oh, Tracy was talking about the inspector rules. Like, they're good, oh. gentle, whatever. Uh, my favorite thing in the whole world is this old, crusty paint bucket that we got in Paris that I paid 45 euro for. So I'm like not the one to ask about not crusty things because those are my favorite. Yeah, this is this is not the place for non-crusty. I mean, we just milk can... painted that uh, cabinet and then we're going to take the sander to it and take a lot of that milk paint off. But you could totally take the ideas that you see here and make them your own. I guess that's my point. And I'm okay with that because I know not everybody loves it. But ironically, people don't like stuff, but then they'll see like a pool. Like, let's say I put this in the kitchen and I stage the whole kitchen. And when they see it in um, in its actual like resting place, we'll they're like, oh, that looks good. Yeah, like the whole picture. All right, you want a... <laughs> There's a lot of bubbles around this eye. It's a bubble situation. All right, let me have this one. You can't see the dot. I'm just going to use your same brush that you used for the pennies from heaven to get okay. the copper look. Crusty on a t-shirt. <laughs> Give me all the crusty. All right. I'm going to show it to you guys before I white wax it. Just making sure all the bubbled up paint is Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting some copper and golden ticket. Ooh, that's nice. You know what I would mix with that, though, is some dark wax. I think we have some. Here's the lowercase one. Joanne says, okay, see, Joanne, there's always a way to change it to make it what you like. That's the great thing about paint. You can really use it to transform anything. And if you don't like it, you just paint over it. Yeah. I do that all the time. That's the beauty of using a number 10 can. We were probably going to throw this in the recycle or the trash, and now we're making fun containers. Right. Now we're making cashola. So I'll probably sell these for, I don't know, like 20-ish dollars, maybe 22 is, would be the final, because like thinking, There's a bit of effort that goes into Yeah, there's these. a lot of steps involved, so maybe $22 for these. Oh, Jennifer has to go back uh, to, Jennifer Palsy has to go back after lunch. Oh. What did Kate say? I thought your plant in your window was a huge spider. Here, I'll show you guys this plant. My neighbor gave it to me. We're not in Australia. We don't have spiders this big here, but 
and it was tiny and I hardly watered it and it's growing like crazy. So I'm probably gonna need to transplant it soon. I never could keep plants alive, but apparently the farmhouse likes plants because my fiddle fig is growing like crazy over there. It's because we have lots of open lighting in here. But it's not direct because yeah. of the way that we have the overhang and lots of indoor plants want lots of light but not direct sunlight. So works out good. But the fiddle fig has got all these little offshoots and so we're gonna see if we can root those just by putting them in water because I read that they're easy to propagate. That's the word, right? I believe so. I believe that's correct. Will we ever give a home tour on a live video? We, we are going to do a home tour. Right now, the home tour consists of piles of boxes. Be a box tour. Every, I'll give you a pan. All right, because we're real here, right? We show you guys the behind the scenes quite often. When we're done, when I'm done putting this on here, I will give you a pan of what the kitchen and the dining room area looks like right now. <laughs> and the rest of the house is actually oh, I worse. Can't showing that. I'm whatever. They don't. I don't care. I'm gonna show them why they're not getting a full tour of the house. <laughs> and we could, but like it wouldn't. You'd be like, oh, there's a pile of socks that need folded there's over there. There's three boxes of clothes that you washed before you moved. And you haven't, they're still in boxes. Like, and yeah. when I say boxes of clothes, I mean like we wash the clothes, we dry the clothes, we shoved them in a box. So they're clean, but they're from all rooms. And whoever's all clothes, clothes those are, I mean, they've been missing stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, you guys ready for the pan? Yeah, let's, you do that I while mean, I work on this. I mean, I haven't even put the trim on the bottom of the cupboards. That's probably, okay? not, that's probably <laughs> not happening anytime soon either. Let's just close that. All right, this is real life right here, folks. Here we go. Well, I like the more white wax. I might put more on that. This pile is like rich with <laughs> pretty junk over here. Stuff over there. But back here is clean. Show them up. I, I decorated. Just like pan it up. And then show them over there. I fixed that. The lamb got a new necklace. Even in the pantry, there's like bread on top of the counter. We have a bread <laughs> drawer, but the kids leave it on top of the counter. Well, that's the waffles from yesterday. But I did restage uh, this area over here. We can show you this for a second. I went to the shop today. How many items can you find up here from JRB Home? Every single one. Like the basket, <laughs> the roses are half off. Those are super cute. I grabbed those bottles, the little, little bread plate, the cups, the bunny, seltzer bottle, the little topiary our new uh, pitcher, the little white thing is from the website, those jars, and the recipe box. So I went shopping. That's one of the great things about having a store. So even though I have boxes everywhere, I do have corners of cuteness. Did you show this pile of windows over oh, here? Oh yeah, and there's a, so there's a vent underneath this cabinet, and you can see the register sitting over there. I have to cut a hole in there because it's just currently venting up underneath. And it was like getting so hot, it was making the bread get moldy. So we had to move the bread. So I think what I'm going to do, Zeb, I feel like this one needs more white wax. So I put a heavy white wax on this one, and I love it so much more. It's really just making it cohesive. The pig, the pig cutting board? We make one similar. That's just not what Zeb's made. I don't know if that's the pig they want to see. I um, think that's the only one we've got out. That's the only pig we have, the cutting board. Anyway. So we're working on it, guys. We're trying. Uh, between running the business and doing videos and moving, we have not really settled so, in. The stuff is here, oh, but we got we to gotta get it going. Lots of white wax <laughs> or less white wax. I actually love more white wax on this one. So I might do that to the other one. Okay, how's your golden tea? I need to dry it. But we did, we had so much stuff. Oh, you um, used my brush? Yes, I did. So you might want to wash this now. No, I'll just use the stencil brush. Um, I have the... We lived in the same house for nine years with five children, and we had piles and piles and piles of stuff that we hadn't I even seen. Piles of children. That we hadn't even seen in the bottom of closets for like a few years. We're like, I don't think we need that anymore. <laughs> a lot of it went to the shop. Yeah. And we also gave quite a bit of stuff away. Okay, so I'm just going to use, I'm actually going to use a stencil brush then. To like just kind of anyway areas real life for you there trust us we're trying the tour will be coming sometime <laughs> all right so this is mine and usually it's not like okay it's usually not a whole house tour it's like over time like next week we've got to do the little boys room because we did a brand deal with our mattresses 
So we don't have a choice. we got to get it done because they gave us some mattresses, which is super nice of them. Okay, here it is. Yeah, Donna from Crescent Moon Cottage has it right. Tour in 2029. So you'll get tours. What we did want to do, though, was film the empty old house and then throw up pictures from all the videos, like a step back in time, because some of those rooms got done over multiple, multiple times. And especially for those of you that have been with us for a long time, we just thought that would make a really great video. So we're going to go film it, and then we'll have the footage so we can do that and do some voiceover um, and put that video together. I'm keeping this one. That's why everything's transferring over. Me like it. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Okay. It's very farmhouse. Very French country. It's, 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 got, it's got a farmhouse slash French country vibe going. You can mix the two. They interchange well. Donna says that's a fun idea. Yeah. This one's getting more white wax because it does make the crusty mess a little bit more cohesive. So. You want to do dark wax on this one? Um... I don't know. I didn't like, put my I, gold I on like as need, thick as you put the copper on. I feel like you need more gold, so let's second yeah. layer that. I'll, I'll put more uh, golden ticket on there. Okay, let me pop out these glitters I love here. looking at the golden ticket. I don't know if the camera will catch it. When you first, uh, when you open it up. Like all sparkly? Yeah, it, let me see if I can angle this down. It's all swirled. I don't know. I like it. These cans should be craft kits. Like, we don't have that much food storage. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably buy them. Well, we could probably hit up on the, the neighborhood, the, the Lehigh page. Be like, we need 90 cans, please. Maybe we'll, ne we always go up, so maybe 100 cans for our craft kits. Willing to pay. I bet people would, if we were willing to pay, they would totally go for that. When you add the white wax, it kind of almost gives it a, a rose gold effect, which I like. Here, I'm gonna show you kind of the splotchiness. Um, I wiped mine off more than Jamie, and you can see I got like some, some light spots there where the white's coming through, which is fine. We want some of the white to come through, but it just gives it like nice layers, nice textures. It actually makes it a lot more durable. If you start putting tons of layers on here, like that's not coming off. Yeah, and then if one layer chips off, Bonus, more layers. So what I'm gonna do, oh, I like this idea. I'm gonna do, cause sometimes things will wear in the middle and then the top and the bottom are shiny. So I did that on this one. That's good. I think I'm gonna stop messing with it. I feel like that is, I was gonna say that's golden, but it's copper, so that's <laughs> copper. And I'm not gonna do the inside. I feel like because it's a kitchen item, you're probably gonna need to clean out the inside a lot and that metal and the inside is better for cleaning out. And if you put stuff in it, you're not going to see the inside. So when this is all dry, we'll just make this nice and neat. Leave the inside that stainless steel so that way it can be cleaned and sanitized and whatnot because that's what your utensils are actually touching. It means bake, and we also found out cook in French. So I figure if I'm going to make something French country, i got to use a French word. All right, so that one, we were going to do dark wax on it? Yeah, I think we're going to try that. So what I would say is let's... Let's use the heat gun. Let's distress it so that way that white comes through and then we'll dark wax, okay? You guys are getting a little extra time. We're 11 minutes over right now. No, what That's all right, we don't have anywhere to be. It's snowing. I do need to unload the back of my truck. Right before the video, I was out there. It's got a bunch of tools in it and I, uh, which reminds me, I got a bunch of tools in the trailer that are probably getting snowed on. I have my antique mirror collection from the garage at the other house. Yeah. We're going to go back over to the old house tomorrow because the carpets got cleaned and we're going to go finish up and there's a couple of stains I need to work on a little more, but the carpet came pretty clean. Ty and Mariah should be headed up here end of the week or first of the week uh, next week to move in, so we'll be helping them. Um, he, so Ty, he's an amazing mechanic and he's got my dad over down there right now helping him. He took a diesel engine out of an old bus and he's got a four-door old uh, classic Chevy pickup that he's putting this diesel engine with a big Allison transmission in and he's trying to get that done before he moves up because that's going to be his work truck but also like his daily driver. So that's what's kind of been taking a little longer is he's been trying to get that project done and now that he's actually not working he has time to do that and 
Look, that should be up and running. Ray's can't just move. Ray's also must deal with their junk. And well, he had the Ray's, project. I mean myself, because we had <laughs> junk that we had to deal with. It's not just like a, a standard issue move. There's like the surface move, which is like all the normal human stuff, and then there's all the projects and yeah. the tools that go with those projects. So yeah, he's had this truck for like two years now, maybe a year and a half. He got it right before I got. We bought the farmhouse, and uh, I beat him done. <laughs> Sally loves the ponytail. Well, the ponytail is functional today. I had my hair all curled and down, but then I got my hair in the back of the heat gun. And all right. Burnt hair is not. So, ooh, that's hot. Awesome. Let that cool a little. So, there we got it. A little bit. You can see it. Man, this golden ticket just really picks up that shine. It almost looks like it's metal, and it's been like this the whole time. So, I'm trying to get, like, you know that old plaster that you get on um, frames? That's what I want this to look like. So... Well, let, why don't you hit it with this and knock off some of those chunks. I gotta chunks. let it cool for a second. And then I've got my wax brush all clean. Well, it's not a wax brush. I use stencil brushes when I'm using dark wax, especially because I like to use it just delicately. And then I've got my dark wax ready to go. So the salt wash is still damp underneath, so it's coming off pretty easy. Jane says big brother win. So Zeb's the big brother as far as oldest goes, but well, Ty's the big brother in size. Yeah, I like to call him my little brother even though he's quite a bit larger than I am. <laughs> he's the large brother. It's, it's fun. By large, we mean tall. We're not like reference to Here's the They deal. have the same build. Although Ty, Zeb has broader shoulders, I think. I out-wrestled him all growing up. Like, Did I get it? There, there you go. You go ahead, proceed. I out-wrestled him all growing up, right? Cause he's two and a half years younger than me. And then as soon as he got bigger than me, I'm like, now we're adults now. I'm not gonna wrestle you. <laughs> Like, sorry, we've outgrown that. <laughs> he arm wrestled me once and he almost ripped my arm off. I'm like, yeah, no more of that. You I arm wrestled <laughs> Mariah once and I was winning and she said I was cheating. Just throwing it out there. And now she's recovering from the surgery she's been having, so we can't have a rematch for quite a while. All right, dark wax that up and then I think we've got it. All right, ooh, this is good. I'm always a little trepidatious with dark wax because it's hard to take back, but that is good. Look at that. And because it's warm, it's melting it just a little bit, but I'm gonna work in small sections so I can wipe it back right away. This is really Just be careful because all of that's fresh. <laughs> this is really gonna age up the gold, but if you um, don't work in small sections, you may have some things you don't love. So we had some other color options that we didn't get into. We had some French millinery, excellent deep purple color, and then the petticoat pink, which is like our go-to pink color. I actually really love the stripe pattern on this number 10. So old gold with like a dark wax and antique gold, very French country. I was actually doing some research this morning and they referenced uh, metallics, um, gold like with extra crusty detail and I feel like this is nailing that on all accounts. I'm very excited. So just so you guys know I'm not going to add any more sealer on this because the golden ticket and the copper pertina, copper pertina, the pertina, the pertina, the pertina is real good. <laughs> they're sealers and so is the wax and so by the time you put patina and the decorative wax you've got plenty of sealer on there. Let it cure up for at least 30 days before you go to town without any scrubbing. I mean, and then leave the original on the inside because that's really what you're going to need to sanitize because that's where you going to start going. Or just use it as a pot or fake, fake plant holder. And some of the whites coming through. You do want to make sure you have paint underneath the patina because like I said, they're transparent. So if you don't have paint underneath, it's not like a solid look. I got to clean up my mess. I got air dry clay. And cornstarch right? all over. You know, we white, we oil wax. We used the uh, Sweet Pickens um, white oil wax on this island yeah. that's made out of the old rafters or the old uh, ceiling joists from the original part of the house, the 1917 part. And yeah. it is just holding up. Like, I was worried that, like, crafting on here, and we, we're okay if it starts looking like an old uh, workbench or, like, you know, those old tables in uh, kitchens that had just been like used for baking for hundreds of years. Um, 
Sorry, I don't want to interrupt you, but I need to answer. No, like you're good. Before I forget. You're good, go. Uh, Caitlin, we are getting more of the copper water watcher bottles in. They are on order. So definitely go to JRB Home and click that button that says notify me when back in stock because they sell out quickly. Um, the copper mugs, we just restocked those. Christy put those in. Another like 16 came in. So if you want the mugs, they're in. If you want the, look how cute this is. If you want the water bottles, they'll be in in a week or two. Yeah, I was done with my story. I was just saying how well the oil wax is holding up. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I felt bad interrupting you, but I... No, we go, you gotta you gotta go while it's hot. If not, you'll forget and we'll just run right over it and there'll be like a thousand more comments before you get to it. And somebody will type it in all caps. Jamie. It's because <laughs> it falls off the conveyor belt. So you could also add white wax to this, but I just love that look. That is a really classic look with the dark wax and the golden ticket. This is totally French country. So we'll give you a close-up. Zeb, you want to pull the camera off and we'll show them. Three cans for sale. Oh, well, this one is not for pulling sale. Pulling the guys. camera off. These two I'm going to sell. We'll wipe out the insides. Let's see. All right, close your eyes. All oh, right. that came off easy. Bring it in close here. So I think this was a classic. So this is the one I'm keeping. So this one's going to live right there. And then these are the other two. We'll get these up on the website before tomorrow's uh, Stay at Home Shopping Network. Those are good. And like I said, uh, once they're all cured up, I will wipe out the inside, but I'm going to leave those original finishes because they're really easy to disinfect. Since they're going in a kitchen, that's probably a good idea. All right, guys. So hit up uh, jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products that we use. Look, there's more junk right there. Yep. Pile um, it. JRV Home is where we're going to be listing those um, before tomorrow, and that's where you can get decor, copper mugs, clothes, all that stuff. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Love you guys. Have a great day.